Hi everybody, hope everyone is great. Today I'm going to discuss the different types of currencies that are available, but we use so few of them. Actually, there's only one type that we use because we've been taught to accept that that's what currency is. And by that I mean usury. Usury means a currency that has a cost. So, and we're used to this. We think that someone is, has to create a currency based on something that we're taught to be valuable and then, uh, and then they're given the authority to distribute that currency pertaining to our work. If anyone watches documentaries about how currency is created, you'd be aware that um, authority is given to banks or central bank to create money out of nothing and therefore, and then distribute it to us. And this always holds us down. A simple example of how usury is defined is uh, it has always been a currency with any cost, in specifically more interest, but anything that has a cost. But they've changed the definition not too long ago to mean any currency with exorbitant cost, which implies that currency has to have a cost, which is not the case, as I'm about to present. But that we use usury um, makes the currency scarce, and we think that currency has to be scarce to be valuable. But that's in the structure, because right now we're printing a lot more money. I've recently discovered that the United States has printed a quarter of its total volume of currency in the last year. And people worry that this will cause inflation and, and that would normally happen. And people are forecasting this now because we want to take what we can, uh, which by default devalues the amount of currency. Look at the figures since uh, the US dollar was uh, separated from gold and the volume of currency has just gone through the ceiling which only demonstrates that there wasn't enough or rather for for us to use this increasing pricing we had to separate it from gold because the amount of gold was becoming more finite and to base the currency on that would actually stagnate the, this way that we increase pricing. This totally negates what we're being paid for or actually drives further that it's all about the money and not what the money buys. So the other, that's usury. The other type is demurrage. Demurrage means a currency with negative interest. This is really great when, or was shown how effective that, that is uh, during the Great Depression when a city in Austria called Virgil, that's W-O-R-G-L, uh, in the last year of the Depression created its own currency. And that alleviated all this pressure of, of um, people saying that they needed to find work and leaving it to a government to organize a structure so that they could work to get money. But this only shows how easy it is to make change when you just change the currency. So. Virgil got itself out of the depression in less than a year, and it was, and it was extremely successful. As it turned out, the Bank of Austria saw that, 
and they outlawed the currency. When financial institutions want to outlaw a successful country uh, currency that has that takes control away from them, this is an example. Again, why I concentrate on currency design to change the structure of economics, our social, uh, social economics, social structures, and politics. It's yeah. So the other one, which not many people know about, and probably find it difficult to understand is a neutral currency and of course for me that's one that's totally free it's based on the work of the people in that way it stabilizes how the currency grows or the volume of currency available without negating velocity and something unique in a neutral currency is that the amount of volume of currency available does not equate to inflation because status becomes more about how to create sustainably, not what can I buy, or valuing wealth by what can I buy. It's all down to access. And really, it's a, it neutralizes all the negatives that usury <clears throat> has. A lot of people are advocating for demurrage, but the problem with demurrage is it doesn't drive sustainability as much as what people hope. Because if you don't spend the currency, it devalues. And again, that still introduces the commodity of currency, which is what I'm trying to um, take out of the system so that people can show their value by creating sustainably. And that's what this is all about. I was just watching something recently where there's this great uh, interest to make the earth and our world better. But while we have a profit-centric currency demanded by the fact that we're using a usury currency, we will always fall short. And this is made prevalent in the 50 plus years that I know of that people have been striving for more environmental respect but usury hasn't achieved that because of course people need obsolescence to make the economic uh, make our economic model run so we've got to change the economic model and the only way to do that that achieves people still being themselves still competing with each other but but in a collaborative connected way we've got to change the currency to change everything else okay i'll leave it with that and more to come take care